Hey, what's up guys? EJ LaFave here with an awesome little uh, tips and tricks for you for live streaming. You see these social reminders, these animated social reminders? Well, they have never been easier to make ever, period. Streamlabs dashboard at streamlabs.com has put together an awesome new feature. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to kick it up a notch by using the OBS switcher plugin that is also free to use inside of OBS. It lets you take your animations and loop them in and about just like this. So if you guys want to stick around to see how to make your animations and then how to make them loop in this, then uh, then come on, let's go. And while you're at it, go join the Reddit community. <laughs> and of course, if you haven't already, go and subscribe. All right, we're going to dive down into tutorial mode. Here we go. Uh, first and foremost, it's Streamlabs, streamlabs.com. Get into your dashboard, and then you'll see here in the bottom left, there's this thing called social reminders. Click on that. You'll see that there are currently four pages of social reminders that you can create. So we're gonna create one right now on the spot. I'm gonna click new for the YouTube subscribe pop-up. We're gonna click new. Um, so you can add a subtitle here in your username here. So we're gonna call this DJ Lefave, and the subtitle down here is just uh, Innovator. There we go, Innovator, we'll leave it like that. Um, and then when you click on this thing, profile image, you, you can upload your own image or you can um, take something that you already, that the Streamlabs already has. We'll just take my, my logo that I already have inside the Streamlabs um, wonderful thing right there. And there you go. This is our new pop-up animation that's going to come in. So we're going to click on save and then I'm going to click download. And then this window is going to pop up up there. So we're going to wait a couple minutes for that to take place while that is doing its conversion. I did want to show you this real quick. This is the Source Switcher 0.3.0. This is the plugin that you have to download. Um, the link is into the description and you guys can uh, definitely go and, and check it out. It is fantastic, so easy to use, and it just adds so much simple value to your live stream or recorded video. If you guys do one take shows just like I do, we got the Windows installer, Windows zip, Mac OS, and for Linux. Um, and if you guys are using Linux or OBS, drop a comment. I, I, I haven't actually heard anybody that's, that, that is in fact using Linux to make this whole thing happen. So this may take three to five minutes. Well, that is downloading. What you're gonna end up getting, and I'll show you right here, is you're gonna get all of these files. The files that you're going to get is an instruction guide, which is pretty well laid out, especially if you're using Streamlabs desktop. I don't know how many people who watch this channel use that. I use OBS personally, and that's how I'm gonna show you how to do this. You get a GIF or GIF file, whichever one you wanna say, uh, .mov, an MP4, and a WebM. So the WebM obviously is a transparent background, and then I believe the MP4 comes with a green background. So if I open up the MP4, and I'm gonna go pull that file on over to the correct screen, the MP4, like I said, it does have a, a green background, so you can go and um, chroma key that out if you'd like, all right? So this is now done downloading and creating its thing. So we're going to uh, show it in the folder. And you see it in the folder right here, YouTube subscribe pop-up. I'm just gonna drag that onto my desktop to make it easier to find later because uh, this thing's getting a little, a little hectic, a little hectic. We're gonna extract all of those items into a new folder. This is the new one that I just created. So we're gonna go ahead and click extract and it's gonna show us all of those files. So there are the files that we just created and just to make it easier for you, we'll do uh, details. And just like I said, every single one of these is going to come with a, a GIF, a move, a MP4, and a an WebM file. So let's go dive down into our OBS, and I'm going to show you how to add these guys in here. All right, so we're going to create a new scene. This new scene is going to be called uh, Social Animations. And in the Animations portion, we are going to add a new source. This source that we are going to add is a media source. And the first one that we're going to call this one, this is uh, YT pop up just YouTube pop up and we'll say okay so now we're gonna go locate that file I threw it on my desktop it is in the YouTube subscribe pop up right here and I'm going to hit the details just because I want to make sure that I am grabbing the dot mov or, or the webm file the webm file I know for for certain is transparent and that's that's what we want, we want to have that transparency um, the one change you're gonna wanna make in here is you're gonna wanna loop this. We wanna loop it, 100% loop it. Everything else you, you can mess with if you'd like. I found if you just loop it and leave it, then you're good to go. We'll zoom on out and that is what this looks like. DJ Lefebvre, innovator. Why just be a creator when you could be an innovator? Know what I'm saying? All right, so we have that added. I've already added the other sources that I made over here. 
So I'm going to show you how to add the Source Switcher plugin. So with the Source Switcher, you're going to want to... You, it does not pull the name of your sources in there. You have to write them exactly as they appear. So to do that, I'll just go in here and I will go to rename and then do a control copy and enter. Now I have this source exactly as it is. So we're going to add a source switcher, the source switcher two, because I've already made one. And then on here, I'm gonna click add and we're gonna paste what we just grabbed right there. So YouTube pop-up is in there. Now I'm gonna go into the other scene where I have my other guys already, already made up in there and I'm gonna do the same thing. Rename, control copy, enter, go back into this one. And then we're gonna go just double click it and we'll click add and we'll click paste there. There we go. And for the last one, the media source right here, rename, copy, enter, and then go into social animations, source switcher. Oh wait, cancel. We're gonna add, paste. There we go. So now we have our three in there. We're gonna loop it. We're gonna do a time switch of, I've pre-calculated this for you all already, 2,500 milliseconds, and then it'll switch to next. Now we say, okay, zoom out. We're gonna hide up hide out the one that we just made right there we don't need that one at all and there you go you now have all of your your items coming perfectly now the one thing that i did do here was i edited the transform of all of them so we're going to edit the transform this one i always like to do uh, center and scale to inner bounds say okay zoom out and now you'll see that everything should be close to to fitting in in the same box but um, there you have it. Control F, fit that in the screen. Uh, you now can like, subscribe, share, and hopefully you guys learn something new. Uh, drop your comments in here because, you know, I love hearing from you all over the world. Again, I'm DJ LaFave. This is what I do. I, I look for outside of the box solutions for problems that you didn't even think you had. So I hope to see you guys in my live stream every Monday night on this channel, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's New York City time. In case you were wondering, hope you guys enjoyed the background tunes. I'm DJ LaFave. Out.